ESPN firing David Pollack needs to get off my lawn. Last month, the once great sports network, ESPN, fired more than 20 of its top commentators, a list which includes Jeff Van Gundy, Todd McShay, Max Kellerman, Susie Kolber, Gene Wojciechowski, Hall of Famer Steve Young, and my Michigan brethren who once called me a clown on Twitter, Mr. Jalen Rose. That sucks. At least they got one right. The reasons for these layoffs are multifaceted, but it's clear the combination of cable cutters and ESPN consistently embracing woke ideology are the leading culprits. Case in point, the majority of those let go were white men, but that didn't stop Stephen A. Smith, the highest paid ESPN employee, from making the situation about race, stating, I could be next. When white folks catch a cold, black folks catch pneumonia. You know, a great cure for that is a warm glass of get off my lawn. <laughs> There's a reason viewership is down over there. And honestly, the only show I still tuned in for was College Game Day on Saturday mornings, which brings us to David Pollack, one of the foundational pieces of that show. I guess we should have seen the writing on the wall when DP's role was diminished last season once Pat McAfee was unnecessarily brought on board and then given an $85 million contract. You know, it's never a good look when your company has to lay off 7,000 people People, but somehow finds the cash to pay one guy $85 million. Either way, business is business, and one man's trash is another's treasure. David Pollack, you are a class act. You're a man of God. You know the game of football inside and out, and you are welcome on this show any day of the week, my friend. Dirty. As for ESPN, keep your dirty feet out of my yard. Oh, yeah, yes. Baby. Big Macs are just mid. All right, I'm going to be honest. You want to know why? Why did you just... Hold on, hold on. Whoa. Hold on. Whoa. Hold on. Because okay. the, the meat, <laughs> it's not really the best meat around. We know who's got the okay, best that's meat. that's fine. Yeah. All right, it's our friends over at, at Good Ranchers. Yeah. All right? This thing isn't just grown in some laboratory somewhere in Slovenia that they come and slop between two uh, slices of bread and cheese, all right? The FDA, though, I do want to make this point. The FDA-approved lab-grown uh, lab chicken is for sale. yes. Meat formed in a lab will soon be coming to a store near you. This isn't some offshoot out of the country. We're trying to get the cheapest thing available. Our friends at Good Ranchers have cracked the code. The, the code. But if you prefer your meat grown in a pasture, like I said, instead of a Petri dish, then you need Good Ranchers. Let's be honest. Come on now. I don't care if the FDA approves it. I don't care if NASA approves it. I don't care if anybody approves it, all right? I want mine straight from a farm. Okay, not only do they sell real meat from real animals, but they sell the best meat in the country uh, from steakhouse quality cuts of beef to better than organic chicken. Everything Good Rancher sources is from local farms in America. All right, it's real meat and it's real service. Guys, we, we cook Good Ranchers all the time. David, what's your latest construction on the grill? Oh, well, you know it's the bone-in ribeye. That's that's my go-to. I love when you say yeah, things like that. You know, little Adam, he's really liking the, uh, you know, the filet. A little bit easier yeah. to get through for him. So, yeah. But look, if you really love us, ask yourself, do I love these guys? And if the answer is yes, go order Good Ranchers for us. Definitely, definitely. Because plus, right now, you'll get $30 off with our code BOOSTER at GoodRanchers.com. That's GoodRanchers.com, spelled like it sounds. I feel like y'all all read past the fourth grade level. Y'all can figure this one out. Use promo code BOOSTER, B-O-O-S-T-E-R. I will say last night, cooked up some steaks, cut them up, had a steak bowl with corn, mm, tomatoes. Did you really? Man, it was fantastic. Onions. Do some Wickles pickles on there. Not going to lie. You don't know how I feel about Wickles pickles. But Good Ranchers, it is absolutely the move. So go to GoodRanchers.com. Use promo code Booster. That's GoodRanchers.com with promo code Booster. GoodRanchers.com. American meat delivered. This ain't coming out of a lab. It's coming out of the farm, baby. What a what just a clown show over there. We're surprised by this. No. What just a clown. David, Not surprised, but even when y'all told me David Pollock was fired, I— I still was a little surprised. It's just, surprised was, and that. look, wow. David's going to be fine. He's one of the best in the business. Um, it, it just, it goes to show you how out of touch, you know, that they are. And, and one of the reasons that we started this show, and I, I don't want to work for ESPN. You know, I don't want to work for that company. I, I love where we work, uh, being able to say what we want to mm -hmm. say, being able to break things down the way we want to break things down, and just being real with people. Not some fake virtue signaling or whatever, but uh, David Pollock, one of the best. Uh, like I said, I, I'm, I mean, he's a guy we go to his golf tournament every year, interact with him a ton. Just a yeah. great human, was a hell of a player, but an even Absolutely. better human being. And yeah. you know what? Yeah, good for him to be gone from that place. Good yeah. for him. To well, be. every time when it comes to college game day, a lot of people talk. But when David Pollock talked, I'd sit up in my chair. Yeah, right. Because I knew just from a from a just football standpoint. The guy was the best one on that panel, hands sure. down. It's not even close. So DP will be fine. Can't wait to get DP on the show. And he's got to be feeling good about the Georgia Bulldogs right now. Yeah, and and 
look, I, I, Pat McAfee, get your bag, man. Pat's very oh, talented. Absolutely. I'll never get mad at somebody for getting their bag. Uh, you know, the Lee Corso situation. I mean, at what point is Lee Corso not going to be on the show anymore? I love Lee. I grew up with Lee Corso. And I want him to go out the way he wants to go out. But every year, there's some, like, one show where it's like, all right, this is Lee's last one. It's like, in the arms of yeah. the angel. And then just we see it every year. Like, so David Pollock's the one? David Pollock's the odd man out? Mm. That That's the one you let go? That that just absolutely shocks me. Hey, YouTube, appreciate you guys. Make sure you subscribe. We're back talking college football with call-ins. You won't find a better place.